Hey, this is Matt Knick from today I'm back with an interesting uh, and useful mathematical calculation. So, uh, this is gonna be a f uh, really short video, an overlook uh, for the perpendicular line to a radius, uh, an interesting calculation that you might find useful sometime. This is uh, done in uh, C sharp and it's done in uh, Windows form application. You can you can do it in um, Windows Presentation Foundation or WPF. Uh, and uh, you can do it, but you need uh, system dot drawing here. Uh, system dot drawing and uh, don't forget to import it into the reference system dot drawing if you are working in presentation foundation and yes uh, let's start uh, what it does it grabs the angle and you see this blue line over here it's it, it's calculated through the uh, length of the blue line you can see here and the smaller radius of this blue circle right here and you can adjust this radius you can adjust the length of the line here you can uh, disable smaller bigger circle you can disable radiuses and you can just uh, present the line and then you can rotate it uh, by an angle so if you can see that the line perfectly rotates uh, the center point to this smaller circle and the two points of the bigger green circle so this is the kind of interesting application you might find useful so let's do the math uh, I'm going, going to do this over here and I'm going to make this line bigger and smaller circle so you can see better okay what we start here is uh, we start with a uh, calculation of the radius of the bigger circle so we get a uh, Pythagorean theorem uh, for uh, the smaller circle and uh, and the length uh, divided by 2 and then we try to find the hypotenuse and on the form load we initiate the render function uh, the graphics, you know that all kinds of stuff, the system that drawing graphics and then what we see here is the, alg uh, okay, let me see, uh, this is the render function and let's get over with those value changed. Uh, here we have, uh, we set up the value of the length okay this is uh, for the length this here is for let me see uh, for the radius r and we done some calculations here because uh, I'll show you you're gonna see it no problem and what we have here is truck bar this is for the angle say angle track bar value and if anybody of these changes we render it uh, we render it so every time you change the angle it's new render it's pretty smooth and yes yeah, cool all the way so what we have here is uh, I have the line coordination algorithm on a circle uh, we take the circle radius angle uh, from the start point and we take uh, the center of the circle and we find the coordinate of the circle and here what, what I did is I just added accuracy uh, I think I showed that on, the, on my live stream uh, if you're interested in twitch.tv slash uh, and you can see there it's straightforward algorithm, it's trigonometry, all that kind of stuff. And uh, what here I did uh, is I adjust the functions uh, degree to radian and radian to degree, so it's easy. Uh, 
I am not used uh, here adding mess dot file and those calculations just radiant to the green and so so here's the render function oh, oh wait um, those if the any checkboxes uh, is um, any checkbox is uh, this value is changed it causes the render function so this is the render function that uh, it is the heart of the project uh, we have here some uh, really straightforward graphics. We calculated again the ra uh, the radius of the bigger circle, and then we calculated the theta. So the theta is this angle right here. Uh, it's the angle between the radius of the bigger circle and uh, the radius of the smaller circle, uh, the line. So if the line changes, theta change just the line length, and uh, you see here the theta goes smaller and smaller theta goes bigger so theta is a Greek letter so I use it a lot when uh, I do trigonometry and uh, so here we calculate the, the this point and this point okay we, we calculate uh, x0 and x uh, and y0 is this point right here and or, or this point I'm not, I'm not sure actually it's actually this point I think and then we uh, calc x1 is this point so let me see something here the angle I think. no uh, yes it's, I'm right I think I'm right. so what we do here is uh, Pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. If if those checkboxes are checked, then render it. If not, they gonna not. They aren't gonna render the lines or the ellipses. So uh, the ellipses are straightforward. We have the center. Uh, we have the center is actually uh, center is four hundred divided by two the 400 by 400 bitmap image is the actual image here I'm representing and you can do uh, you can do bigger amounts uh, high resolution and here what radius times two radius times two uh, pretty straightforward and um, and what we do here is we draw uh, the line we draw the line for the smaller circles radius this line right here and we draw the line the actually the perpendicular line you can do just this you don't need those radiuses if you want and then we draw those two lines right here the brown ones and that's all uh, you, you can see the math it's all on github dot com slash mitkunekov and don't forget to subscribe leave a comment below like the video share it and yes uh, that's all thanks for watching